Every year, Forbes puts out a list of the 400 wealthiest people in America. Together, they're worth a record $3.2 trillion, led by business moguls, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, and a number of other entrepreneurs like Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates. At the top of the list is a battle between Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and serial entrepreneur Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla. The top three wealthiest Americans have a net worth of over half a trillion dollars. And within the next decade, it's likely we'll see a trillionaire at the top of the list. There is no question their wealth has allowed them a lifestyle that is filled with luxury and power. If they need to travel, private jet. Vacation, let's take the super yacht. Heck, Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg spent over $100 million buying hundreds of acres of shoreline in Hawaii. To the ultra wealthy, that's a drop in the bucket. But how did they make all their fortunes? The thing you do obsessively between age 13 and 18, that's the thing you have the most chance of being world class at. If you like what you're doing, you think about it even when you're not working. It's something that your mind is drawn to. Um, and, and if you don't like it, you just really can't make it work, I think. Other people are putting in 40-hour work weeks and you're putting in 100-hour work weeks, then even if you're doing the same thing, you know that you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. Deck's fucking heavy, go for launch. Three, two, one. In this video, we're gonna break down what it takes to make the list and share the advice these global business titans have for young entrepreneurs. Before we begin, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos on all things entrepreneurship. In 2020, there were reportedly 2,095 billionaires in the world. Together, their estimated net worth total $8 trillion. Of this amount, the top 10 wealthiest people in the world account for $1,128 billion. Let's take a look at the top of the list according to Bloomberg's Billionaire Index. Coming in as the fifth wealthiest person in the world is Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO, chairman, and founder of Facebook. The parent company Facebook also owns Instagram, WhatsApp, and Oculus, and holds the title as the world's largest social networking service. Mark Zuckerberg is also the co-founder of the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative and has pledged to give away 99% of his wealth over his lifetime. Today, he has an estimated net worth of $95.6 billion. The fourth wealthiest person in the world is Bernard Arnault of France, the chairman and CEO of LVMH, the world's largest luxury goods business, which owns 75 distinguished brands. You've probably heard of a few, including Louis Vuitton, Tag Heuer, and Marc Jacobs. His estimated net worth, $109 billion. Third on the list is entrepreneur turned philanthropist, Bill Gates. He is the co-founder of Microsoft, one of the largest companies in the world, and the co-chair of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. In the last 25 years, he has donated over $45 billion to charitable causes. Last year alone, Bill and his wife donated nearly $5 billion. Bill Gates has been vocal and forward thinking in his philanthropic work around climate change and ending disease around the world. He has an estimated net worth of $132 billion. In the runner up position for the wealthiest person in the world is Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, the world's largest online retailer. He's also the founder of Blue Origin and has an estimated net worth of over $182 billion. It's estimated that his net worth is likely to continue growing as most of his wealth is tied up to Amazon, which at the time of this video has a valuation of $1.6 trillion. Jeff Bezos recently stepped down as the CEO of Amazon to become the executive chairman so he can focus more time on other passions like Blue Origin. Speaking of space travel, at the start of the year, Elon Musk held the position as the wealthiest person in the world. Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla, the founder of SpaceX. He's also the founder of Neuralink and the founder of The Boring Company. Through all of these entrepreneurial endeavors, 
Elon Musk has an estimated net worth of nearly $200 billion. Because most of his wealth is associated with Tesla, a company that he owns roughly 22% of, his net worth fluctuates with the market, sometimes moving up or down billions of dollars in a single day. So what do the wealthiest have in common and how do they get on the Forbes 400 list? Despite the rapid year-over-year -year rise, the Forbes 400 did not become exclusively a billionaire's club until 2006, more than two decades after the list was created. If you have dreams of someday making it onto the Forbes list, then you shouldn't be spending your time in the stock market. The overwhelming investment lesson of the latest Forbes list is that the stock market is where you go after you've made your fortune. Most of the wealthiest people on the planet and the Forbes 400 list made their fortune by starting companies that changed the world. They are entrepreneurs, innovators, and change makers that have built companies that are helping a massive amount of people and using technology to create even more impact faster and ever than before. Technology has drastically shortened the time and money required to start companies and achieve global scale. It's likely that the next generation of entrepreneurs who will be on the Forbes list and recognize as the wealthiest on earth have yet to start their groundbreaking companies. The next billionaire or trillionaire might be an entrepreneur currently on the Forbes 30 under 30 list, or more likely, it will be someone still working on their craft or just getting started. You know, I, I always think that the most important thing that entrepreneurs should do is pick something they care about, work on it, but don't actually commit to turning it into a company until it's working. If you look at the data of like the very best companies that have gotten built, I, I actually think a tremendous percent of them have been built that way and not from people who decided up front that they wanted to start a company. When, when I was a kid, I was wondering kind of what's the meaning of life? Like, why are we here? What's it all about? And I, I came to the conclusion that uh, what, what really matters is trying to understand the right questions to ask. The more that we can increase the scope and scale of uh, human consciousness, the better we are able to ask these questions. Everybody wants to fulfill the highest, truest expression of yourself as a human being. That's what you're looking for. And there need to be reasons to get up in the morning. You know, life can't just be about solving problems. Otherwise, what's the point? There's got to be things that people find inspiring uh, and make life worth living. Final question. Um, what do you want to be remembered for when all this is over? It will take all of the years I have remaining to make big progress, for example, to get rid of malaria and to get childhood death in poor countries so that it's not any greater than in rich countries. A group of about 20 write down on a sheet of paper one word that they thought accounted for their success. And Bill and I, who may have only met twice, didn't know what the other one was writing down. We both wrote down the same word, which was focus. And he was focused on software. I was focused on investment. For anyone who's had the experience of actually building a company, you know that you go through some really hard things along the way. And I think part of what gets you through that is believing in what you're doing and knowing that what you're doing is, is really delivering a lot of value for people. And that's, I think, how the best companies end up getting made. In a world that's changing so quickly, the biggest risk you can take is not taking any risk. If you're an entrepreneur and you'd like to be on the Forbes 30 under 30 list, make sure you watch the video I did on how to make the Forbes 30 under 30 list from someone who's actually done it. I was fortunate enough to be on the Forbes 30 under 30 list in 2020, and I love sharing the entrepreneurial journey with all of you. So if you're interested in learning more about entrepreneurship, building companies, and investing in startups, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and feel free to follow me on social media. I share a behind the scenes look of what it's like building a global technology and media company. I wish you guys the very best and keep hustling.